This is the Axoon Top Rig S60. It's a 60 centimeter video slider. It is motorized and it's very easy to use. And I'm really excited to showcase how this works and how you can get really smooth footage with your camera. Some of the key specifications that are written on the side of the box, as you can see here, but we will talk through these in more detail in a second. But let's go ahead and set this up and showcase how this looks. So I now have it mounted on my tripod. This is a quick preview of how it works whilst it's being motorized on the slider. I'll go through how to use this, but let me go ahead and hit the play button. And you can see it's slowly starting to move and you can adjust the speed very easily as well. This is going to create some really smooth footage, especially when I want to capture some B-roll footage as well. So whilst this is happening, just want to take a moment and give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, UPDF. UPDF is my favorite PDF app I've used. Not only does it have the nicest and cleanest UIs, but just how quickly you can open, edit, and organize your PDFs with so much ease. When you open any PDF, you have options on the sidebar to edit the PDF, create an editable form PDF, and even redact your documents so easily, just like this. And you can organize and reorder pages with a quick drag and drop, crop pages. Now here's a quick sample of how quick and easy it is to edit a PDF, much like a Word document. But if you go with the premium UPDF AI version, you can get fast and accurate generated transcripts and summaries of your documents, and you can even chat with the AI bot to perform certain tasks within the document. You simply click the AI button on the bottom right, hit get started to get a full summary of the document, split into chapters like so. And if you find it a bit long, you can ask it to polish the summary for you to condense it into one paragraph. Take a look at the UPDF website with the link in the description if you want, in my opinion, the best PDF app available across all operating systems and devices. So now let's take a closer look at the actual design and I'll showcase how to set it up and how it works. Now this is a very good build quality, it is metallic. You do have the belt here as well and it does come with a spare belt and allen key in the box as well in case you ever need to replace this. Now you have yourself a quarter 20 inch thread here which has a removable screw so you can just use the quarter inch one if you need to. You see this little black plate in the middle? This is actually adjustable for you to rotate and get some really cool cinematic slider footage by just unscrewing this side and the little switch just sat back here and then you can tilt it at an angle. As you're tilting it, you can see the circular plate. This actually rotates as well. So this will rotate your camera at the same time. Now this doesn't come with a ball head, so you can buy your own ball head to put on top of this and then attach your camera as well. It's got some lines here as well, just to make sure you level it up when you don't want to use this. And you also have a bubble level meter just there on the left hand side. This also requires you to buy an NPF battery to power this, but you can also power it via a DC input as well, in case you don't want to use a battery. Now, if we take a look at the bottom, you can see this four quarter inch threads there as well. We also have a 3.8 thread right there in the middle, in case you want to mount it in different various tripod plates. You also have adjustable legs as well, which you can elevate higher, but I will just leave them at the basic level there. Now let's take a look at the controls. So once you have attached a battery, you have yourself the battery level indicators with the LED lights here that go up to 100%. All you need to do is turn this on with the on off button. You also have a speed adjustment knob so you can control how fast the plate actually moves along the slider. Then you have AB controls. This button allows you to switch between either the motorized slider going either once in a single line or it can loop. So it will go backwards and forwards depending on your A and B points. Then you have the play and pause button at any time you want to start and stop the slider. So let's go ahead and turn this on. You can see everything lights up. The A and B is flashing, so you can now get ready to set your A and B points. And then I will set this to loop so I can quickly showcase how that works. And then I will hit play when I'm ready to start using it. Once it gets to the end or close to the end, I will hit pause. There we go. And I will set this as A. So now the A has a solid blue light. Let's continue. I'll wait till it gets around here and then I'll pause it again. And then I'll select the B button.
pause it there, hit B. Now B is lit up in blue as well. So that's very quick and easy. Now, the first green light on the loop button is set to just one. But if I want to loop it, I press it again. The second green light, this now is loop sliding. Now the A and B is set. If I hit play, this will cycle between those two points that I've set. And that is a very quick and easy setup. And in fact, there's nothing else you generally need to do to get this up and running in this fashion. But this also comes with the Top Rig app as well. So you can actually control this and set your points via the app. But in this situation, I feel like this will do everything that you need it to do. And if you increase the speed, this is the maximum speed. And you can see actually how fast this goes. Now, just a quick reference of some of the key specs. Maximum payload on horizontal view is four kilograms, but you can actually tilt this vertically. And the max payload, if you do use this vertically, is 2.5 kilograms. Now, let me quickly show you how easy it is to use the Top Rig app. This is available on iOS and the Google Play Store. Now, you can see I've connected it via Bluetooth already. It just showed up on my settings and it's very quick and easy to use. So the slider is here. So if I want to set the A point, I just use the arrows. You can see the slider is actually moving in real time, which I think is brilliant. So I will select A. Now, if I move this, let's say towards the middle and then hit B. Now my A and B points are set. So I can either loop it and if I hit play, everything is being done directly from here. The one thing to be aware of is if you want to adjust the speed, you will need to use the knob on the actual slider because there's no speed adjustment here on the app. And if I just want to delete A and B points, I can just hit the delete button there and reset to my points very easily. So the app is a very quick and convenient way to get this set up if you want to use that. But in fact, like I mentioned earlier, everything is so easy on the panel on the slider itself that you may not even need to use the app. So one thing you may have noticed as well that this is very quiet. It's pretty much noise free. So you don't have to worry about any of the motor noises interfering with your audio whatsoever. So now let's go ahead and showcase some sample shots that I've just taken with this slider at various different angles and positions. So there we have it guys, that is the Top Rig S60. You can even use the app to get some really cool time-lapse footage using the slider as well. So the possibilities are endless, but if you really want stable, smooth, silent footage, especially for B-roll, I think this is absolutely great. Check out the link in the description if you are interested in a motorized slider. I've not come across one that's very easy to use just like this. You don't need to use the app, but I actually like using the app more. I can just hit the play button from my phone from a distance as well and just get the smoothest footage for my b-roll whenever i need it if you have any other comments about this as always drop a comment down below make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel i've got really cool tech reviews like this out every week and i will catch you all at the next one take care